part two about how my gym teacher's wife found out that he was having an affair with me. So like I said, his wife was supposed to be gone the whole night because she was at the bar with her friends and they were supposed to get in a hotel. So he invited me over. So we went swimming in his pool. Then we did the nasty. Well, a few hours later, him and I were sitting on the couch watching a movie. And his wife kept calling him. But he just kept ignoring it, saying that she was fine and he didn't want to answer the call and ruin our time together. So we go upstairs, lay down to go to sleep. And it's like 4 a.m. at this point. So I shit you not, literally an hour later, I wake up to his wife carefully shaking me to wake me up. And she goes, honey, come downstairs. I don't want to wake him up. He has work tomorrow. And I'm like, what the actual fuck? So I went downstairs and she's like, sit at the table with me. So we're sitting at the table and she's like, I hope that we can keep this quiet. She was like, my husband's done this before. And that she can't have any of her friends knowing or anybody at school because she's a PTA mom. So she offered me money to keep my mouth shut. And then she let me go back upstairs and lay with him. What the fuck? So today I'll be telling you guys how I make my notebooks. And that first step is demolding the front and back covers, which you can see here. Then getting my binder rings and my paper. We need to align those up, click it in, and there we go, that's it. So this is a custom order that came in via Instagram by somebody who had seen my Grand Budapest Hotel tray. As always, stirring for what feels like the longest three minutes of anybody's life. Cosmo wanted a baby pink, um, so I made a mess first, and then I decided to add the pale pink powder to the white powder. We had agreed on it being slightly two-toned because I think it does look nicer from different angles. So I'm putting the very pale pink in the center here. After that, I'm adding the slightly darker pink and putting it around the edges. There isn't a massive difference, but it does look nice when they start to blend together. As you can see here, the colors are already starting to mix, so this is how it looked just before it set. I take it out of the mold whilst it's still soft so that I can begin to shape it with secateurs. I find them easier to use than scissors, they are slightly sharper and you do get better edges. I'll sand the edges down before painting the gold leaf around the edges and then I'll seed it with a varnish. And this is the finished product. Alright, it's this mold again. This is a mica powder that Glitter and Blinks is going to be carrying. It's a part of their magic micas. And also my favorite Pixis cups. I like to cut them so they kind of bend a little bit better. So now for the epoxy and pouring it in. 91% alcohol to pop those bubbles too. Now that that cured, I'm using this new glitter from Glitter and Blanks that I'm obsessed with. Also some of their mica powder in there, just to make it a little shiny. Also part two is already up, so no hate comments, please.
So when I was a little kid, my mom made me go to this funeral of a friend of hers who'd passed away who I didn't know at all, actually. I was probably eight or nine years old at the time or something, and I was really, really bored. And so for the duration of the funeral, I literally just sat in the back of a corner and didn't talk to anybody or do anything. Or After the funeral, when everyone was walking out, this guy walks by me and he stops. And he looked down at me, and I'm just sitting kind of in the corner minding my own business. And he goes, enjoy your life. I didn't enjoy mine, and look where I am now. I'm sad and miserable. And he, like, patted me on the head and walked away, and I was like, that was weird. My mom comes to me, and she's like, look, I know you don't care about who this is or anything, but this was my friend, so at least go look in the casket and say goodbye. And so I was like, fine, whatnot, and so... I make my way over to the casket, I look in, see the same guy that just said goodbye to me. I couldn't sleep for months. You know what it ended up being? The guy had a twin. Nobody thought that, like, mm, I was traumatized. God. So I went to the doctors today, one that my mother goes to herself, and I left questioning my mother's taste in doctors. Maybe she's good at what my mother needs her for, but, um... I was given one of those questionnaires where you fill out to see what your score is for depression. And she wanted to put me on depression meds. And I said, no, it's not depression, it's bipolar. I have unmedicated bipolar. And she said, well, bipolar is depression. So, depression meds. If any of y'all don't know, depression meds can make bipolar worse. And that's happened to me in the past. I said, I probably need bipolar meds, not depression. So, she said, well... Bipolar is manic depression. So I didn't need bipolar meds, I needed depression meds. She also tried to tell me I had non-24 because I learned it as a baby. And that my parents messed up my sleep cycle when I was young. That's not how that works. This is a nice audio for artists so they don't have to use those guild tripping ones anymore. Hey, I'm an artist, and I made this, and it's pretty freaking cool. And I know you're somebody who appreciates art, because clearly you have good taste, and I winded up on your For You page by you using this audio. And I'm just kicking back doing my thing. I do all this art just from to make myself happy, but if it makes you happy too, that would make my day. So enjoy the rest of your scrolling. Whether you like this or not, I'm sure you're... You are a good person, and uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, this is the finished product. Pretty damn awesome if I do say.